What's good guys? Welcome to the first workout vlog for my new lean bulking series and the first workout for my new program. As per usual, I started off the workout with some acclimation sets, uh, started off with a plate and did two sets of about 10 reps for each set just to get some blood flow into the quads and to the hamstrings and usually I can gauge how well the workout's going to be based off of the warm-up sets and on that particular day I could tell that squats weren't going to be easy. Um, the warm-up weights were not flying up as fast as I wanted them to go and that's probably due to the fact that I haven't squatted in over a week or so, probably like two weeks. Coming into this workout, I already had a sense that this was going to be more of a getting back into things, feeling things out, and getting my body used to the new program that I am implementing. Uh, right here, you're seeing my next acclimation set of 185 pounds, nothing special. I uh, did about eight reps on this set right here. So the goal of the workout was to work up to a heavy set of 315 pounds, just to see where my strength is at right now at my current body weight. Uh, right now I'm weighing about 154, 155 pounds, um, and I am lean bulking right now, so I'm excited to put on more strength and mass as I go along on this progress. And really quickly, in the previous clip, you saw me do 225 for 5 reps, and right here I'm doing 255 for 3 reps. Um, yeah, anyways, back to the workout plan. Um, I was trying to go for as many reps as possible on 315 pounds, and then do some drop sets for my actual working sets based off of how I felt. And in this clip, I'm doing my last warm-up set with 285 pounds. And right here is my top set with 315. I'll let you enjoy the rock clip. <laughs> guys have it. I only got two reps on my top set of 315. I uh, wasn't too disappointed with that just because like I said before uh, I came in knowing that it wasn't gonna be the greatest workout just getting back into things and for the rest of my squat workout I did some drop sets to get more volume in so I counted these drop sets as my actual working sets. In the previous clip you saw me do 295 for three reps and right here again it's 295 for my second working set for I think I got it for two reps. So 295 felt pretty heavy, almost as heavy as 315. As you can see, I'm like struggling. So I decided to play it smart and to drop it even more. And in this next set, I made a big mistake. I was planning to drop it down to 245 for eight reps. Uh, but as you can see right here, I actually put 265 on the bar. And thinking in my head, I was like, oh, this is really, really heavy for 245. But I ignored it, and I just presumed that I was really weak that day. Um, so I kept pushing. Uh, I wasn't just gonna stop at like three or four reps because uh, in my head again I thought it's 245 and I'm like I'm stronger than this. So I ended up getting it for six reps and afterwards I was kind of pissed off at myself for not being able to count. Uh, but I was also very relieved because I thought it was 245 and I thought that I was just really weak. But instead it was 265. And for this next set I made sure that I had the correct weight on the bar. Here's what 245 is supposed to look like. I got it for 8 reps. And watching my form right now, I feel like one thing I need to work on is to widen my stance. Uh, I've been told by my brother and some other people that my stance is pretty close. And it's just what I've been used to this, I guess, the entire time I've been squatting. I definitely have a closer stance than the normal person. Um, and I just feel like it's because I feel the strongest when uh, my stance is closer. But I want to try some new things this year, so I'll probably widen my stance a little bit more which would allow my hips to open up more and to maybe uh, get my squat up. And so for my last set, I finished up with 225 for about 10 reps just to get more volume in. And right now I'm analyzing my form and it seems to me that my right side is uneven than my left side, if you guys can see that. Um, it seems that my right side is kind of shoved forward more or shifted forward more a little bit more than my left side. And I think that's just due to my uh, injury on my right rotator cuff. And so right now my right shoulder is not as mobile as my left shoulder. And I'm having a hard time pushing my right shoulder back and keeping uh, my body more upright when I'm squatting. And as you guys can see right here, I moved on to some bench press. Uh, before I talk about my reps and sets here, I just want to quickly apologize. Uh, I had to switch from my Sony camera to my iPhone 7 camera. Uh, that's because I had to sneak some footage in. Um, 
I was actually filming with the Sony before this uh, for my squats, and one of the rec center staff members actually came up to me and said there's no filming, which I already knew. So I ended up using my iPhone camera, which is a lot easier to uh, get clips without anyone noticing, but using a Sony camera would be would draw a lot more attention than an iPhone would. So right now I'm in the works of getting a permit to be able to film legally in the gym here, which is kind of annoying, but I'd rather have a permit and to be able to film here instead of trying to sneak footage because it gets really annoying and I can't get good angles for you guys. And so I've emailed some important people, some directors of the Rexen, and I filled out some paperwork and hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, and now I'm just waiting for them to email me back. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. And now back to the workout, I did three sets of three with uh, 135, so really light because again, I'm getting back into things, trying to build my strength back up and trying to uh, not re-injure my right rotator cuff. Afterwards, I moved on to close grip bench and I did three sets of eight, going really light, did 95 pounds for the first set, and then for the last two sets, I did 105 pounds, as you can see in this clip right here. And so this bench routine is actually a new program that I've been acting. Um, it's called Johnny Candido's six-week bench program, I think. And um, yeah, Johnny Candido, if you guys don't know who he is, is a really strong power lifter. And he's made some pretty good programs out there. And so yeah, I downloaded the Excel spreadsheet, entered in the numbers that I wanted, and it calculated for me um, on like a six-week basis of all the numbers I need to hit every day when I go to the gym. Now, this bench program is definitely not for... Uh, beginners it's more for I think intermediate to advanced lifters um, it has you benching five days in a row for the first three weeks and, and it's like a linear progression after every week the numbers change they go up the reps decrease and you slowly build up your strength with this program and yeah I'm very excited to finish it up I'll let you guys know I'll give you my review on it um, but right now I'm really liking it I'm really liking the higher frequency of benching that's going to help my bench form and so after the close grip bench, um, I moved on to some two isolation exercises. As you can see right here, I did some side laterals. And um, so both of these isolation exercises, the program calls for uh, three sets of 20 reps. Yeah, you didn't hear me wrong, 20 reps. And I really like the isolation exercises because I feel like they help build up weak points, um, you know, and to help with the muscu muscular imbalances that you may have. And also, it, they're just a good way to get more volume into your upper body. And since I'm doing such low weight and high volume, uh, I, f I feel like that's going to help strengthen my rotator cuff without damaging it. And so after the side laterals, I moved on to some dumbbell rear delt flies. I really like doing these to bring out the rear delts because I feel like rear delts are very neglected by most people. Like the front delts are always targeted by, let's say, like bench press and shoulder press. Um, all those movements hit your front delts, uh, but people don't really make a conscious effort to bring out uh, the back of their shoulders, and so their shoulders might look uneven or they have muscular imbalances due to that. And so, yeah, I'm thinking of making a detailed walkthrough of my workout in a separate video because I want to talk about the numbers and the different protocols uh, and I feel like I don't have enough time to talk about that in a commentary so yeah stay tuned for that guys and so as you can see right here I finished up the workout with my favorite ab machine at the gym here I did three sets of 15 reps and that's going to conclude this squat slash bench commentary I want to thank all you guys for the support please like share comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one Do you feel the